Welcome to the webinar, how to select the right sewage treatment plant. This webinar is meant for builders, MEP consultants, architects, project managers or purchase managers who are directly responsible for the sewage treatment plants. They will find this webinar extremely useful in taking the right decisions with respect to sewage treatment plants. And what exactly are we going to learn from this webinar today? Once we complete this webinar, you will understand why you need an STP, what are the problems with existing STPs and how is a sewage treatment taking place across the world, what are the advancements in various countries and what is the actual cost of ownership for a sewage treatment plant, how to select the right technology, right sewage treatment process for your new project and also how to select the right vendor. Firstly, who am I? What is the knowledge and authority I have on this subject to share my learnings with you? My name is Suresh Kumar and I have 22 plus years of experience in water treatment industry. I have started my water career in the year 2000 with RO plants. In 2006, I graduated into effluent treatment plants and I have built more than 1000 sewage treatment plant plus effluent treatment plants put together. The capacity is ranging from 2 KLD to 4.6 MLD. Customers ranging from residential projects to farmhouses to municipal sewage treatment plants. I am an expert in moving bed bioreactor, MBBR, membrane bioreactor, MBR, sequential batch reactor, SBR, reverse osmosis and ultrafiltration. Personally, I have launched ESTP, instant sewage treatment plant based on electricity in the year 2008. Now let us come back to the topic. Why should you choose the right sewage treatment plant? Can you believe the cost of choosing a wrong STP is 1 crore or more? Let me explain how it is. We frequently get calls from potential customers as to what will be the implications of buying a villa next to the STP. Will the smell impact us? Will the noise impact us? And in majority of the projects, villa projects especially, I have noticed that the villa next to the STP is the last one to be sold. And builders normally construct the STP only in the last moment. They don't reveal the location of the STP also. The reason being, they are apprehensive that customers would not like to buy villas next to the STPs. And they are forced to give massive discounts, even to the tune of 50%, to sell off the STPs that are on either side of the, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, to sell off the villas that are on either side of the STPs. So assuming 50% discount on two villas on either side of the STP, the cost is the actual cost of one villa, which is in excess of one crore or two crores today. And the second reason why STP is important for the builder is Apart from money, you are also losing a lot of customer goodwill. The number one complaint that builders get from villa projects is about STP noise, STP smell, vibrations and where the water is used for flushing, the water quality coming into their flushes. All these are direct, directly related to sewage treatment plants. And we all know the status in apartments. Wherever there is an STP and the flat above ends up getting a lot of vibration noise. And I have seen, I have known practically some big builders who had replaced the apartment of customers who went to consumer courts because their problem of noise and vibration is not solved by the builder. As a matter of fact, the actual cost of STP is less than 1% of the total project cost. If you are building, let us say 50 villas, even 50 villas at the cost of two crores each, the project cost is 100 crores. Your STP will never cost more than 50 lakhs. On 100 crores, 50 lakhs is 0.5%. Less than 1% of the cost, but 50% or more problems are directly related to STPs. Builders just can't afford to overlook or wish away the STP related problems. 
there is nothing like you are walking away from this project today customers have made whatsapp groups of buyers or the villa owners they are making the builders part of that group they are bombarding the builders or the business owners day in day out with messages related to stp problems what exactly is the way out what is the solution for this problem i have learned in my 20 plus years of experience that understanding the real cause or the root cause of of the problem is the first step to the solution i am sure all of you would agree with me let us look at why we have to install an stp let us start from the basics the number one reason why any builder would install an stp is to meet a statutory requirement by pcb or local municipality the second reason is even in villa projects where there is no municipality it is coming in a rural area there you have a smell problem to prevent the smell from coming we still have to install an stp the third reason an emerging reason in some localities which are water starved like bangalore city is the reuse of water treated sewage is the most reliable source of water when you are using water it is becoming sewage and that sewage can be recycled reused for any purpose even to the level of drinking now let us look at what are the common problems that are coming up in stps the number one problem that comes in any stp is foul smell the number two problem is high level of noise then we have high vibrations if everything is working all right the stp seems to be working all right without these three complaints then the water quality is poor wherever water is used for flushing customers would often come back and complain saying that you know the water is looking yellowish in color in my flush or there are insects in my flush my flush is stinking whenever i flush it these are the problems and everything seems to be all right you have hired a professional oendm contractor everything then you still have a frequent breakdown your oendm contractor or the operator will come and tell you there is a problem with the pump there is a problem with the blower in addition to all these problems you have high electricity bill and manpower cost is high and it is only going up there is no respite from ever increasing manpower cost to all of us now what exactly are the reasons the real reasons these are the symptoms what we are seeing are the symptoms but what are the reasons for these problems the number one reason is the wrong design of the stp we all find it very hard to believe stps are designed by professional stp vendors vetted by professional mep consultants professional architects still design is wrong design is the number one culprit then wrong selection of the equipment the equipment may not be suitable for that location then the wrong installation is another reason and if everything is all right then improper oendm here installation or operation and maintenance contractor is not hiring the right kind of manpower you still have a problem majority of the operators available today are coming from underdeveloped states like orissa bihar up assam i have seen practically operators know only two things lal button green button pila button switch on switch off either it is a blower or a pump beyond this they don't have any kind of process knowledge why they are doing what they are doing this they never understand these unskilled operators are the reason number 1 why stps are failing frequently educated people do not want to get into stps educated engineers also don't want to go and work in stps contributing to the problem now how is a wrong design worsening the problem let us understand that let us come to the smell problem the smell is caused by a wrong design there are two types of smell that come into an stp one is a hydrogen sulfide smell or rotten eggs smell this happens if there is no proper aeration or insufficient aeration in the collection tank or sludge holding tank i have seen some stp vendors who have not installed any kind of aeration grid in collection tank as well as sludge holding tank this results in hydrogen sulfide generation on the site and rotten egg smell 
is only a symptom the second popular reason for smell is the accumulation of moist air we are pumping huge quantity of air into the water tank the sewage processing tank the aeration tank now all this air is going to come out when this air comes out it brings a lot of moisture with that moist air being heavy will settle into the pump room this is the reason whenever you walk into an ASTP you will realize that your hands are becoming moist and all the metal equipment like the filter vessels etc is rusting within a matter of one one and a half month all the MS pipelines are rusted there is no painting the reason is high moisture content present in the pump room so what is the design failure in this the designer or the STP vendor or the MEP consultant should have looked at this possibility and created a, a proper mechanical ventilation system to vent out the accumulated air from the bottom of the pump room. Majority of the times, if you see even in uh, projects like uh, shopping malls, the air is lifted from the roof level, never from the pump room bottom level. So, Improper ventilation, mechanical ventilation is the culprit number one causing smell in any STP. The third reason for smell in STP is a wrong location of the STP. If we are putting the STP, if we are installing the STP in an apartment cellar, maybe in minus two or minus three, there is absolutely no possibility of this heavier air going out. This is the reason KSPCB has come out with their new norms saying that STP should be should not be installed in cellars. They have stipulated that STP should be installed in open areas. This may not be practical in apartments, but in villa projects, this is quite possible. And why do noise problems come in STPs? The reason being the nature of blowers. The blowers used in STPs are called twin lobe rotary blowers. These rotary blowers are not mass manufactured. They are manufactured in small numbers by reasonably good manufacturers, but they have not updated their technology. So these blowers end up making noise upwards of 85 dB. 85, 90 dB is the noise that your borewell air compressor makes. Acoustic hoods are generally placed, but acoustic hood can reduce the noise level only by about 5 dB and improper installation of the blower leads to huge vibrations they don't use uh, vibration dampening pads and wrong header sizing wrong header design again leads to huge air noise it blower is sucking huge quantity of air so there is a suction noise also there is a discharge noise also and pcbs are breathing down our neck ks pcb has stipulated that STP blower noise must be below 55 dB during daytime and below 45 dB during nighttime. And unfortunately, other state PCBs are also come up with similar directions in immediate future. In my knowledge, there is no technology, there is no blower which gives you 45 dB sound. So what exactly is the solution for this problem? There is only one solution you cannot continue using this kind of twin lobe rotary blowers in any sewage treatment process be it mbbr spr mbr water is a technology but this blower is simply not suitable to be used in stp we have to consider alternative new technologies let us also understand before we move on further how poor oendem is impacting us poor oendem is the reason oendem stands for operation and maintenance we have a OEM contractor, but there is no maintenance. It is only operation. That operation is also press a green button, press a red button. This is what most STP operators are doing. So this OEM is not proper. So most of the equipment before failure, they would give a warning sign. If you look at a blower, it starts giving a jarring noise or some uh, bearing noise before a problem becomes serious. If the operator has experience, he will be able to realize that something is going wrong with the blower or something is going wrong with the pump. The operator has no experience, he doesn't realize. They just operate it regardless. So what happens? It ends up in a breakdown. 
also poor operation and maintenance is the reason number one for poor quality of water poor operation and maintenance is giving us one poor quality water frequent equipment failure so what is the solution simple we have to employ trained experienced operators it sounds very simple we do we are not getting operators at all so where is the question of getting experienced operators so this solution seems to be worse than the problem so what should be done can we look at a situation where there is no operator at all for the stp is it possible we'll come to that in a while let us also look at the actual cost of operating an stp we initially thought discussed that stps have high operating cost so what exactly is this high operating cost the number one cost in any stp is the power cost the electricity cost number two cost is the manpower cost then comes the chemicals cost finally mechanical maintenance that means something has broken down a belt is replaced sand media is replaced carbon media is replaced these are the maintenance costs actual operating cost for a 50 kld stp as an example any 50 kld stp irrespective of the technology like mbbr sbr mbr would have a minimum air blower of 5 hp a feed pump of 1 hp a filter feed pump of 3 hp and a sludge pump or sludge dewatering equipment consuming 1 hp power this is total 10 hp or 8 kilowatts that means 8 units per hour 8 kilowatts per hour 24 hours a day 365 days a year will translate to 70080 units per hour at 8 rupees a unit 70080 units is going to cost us 560640 rupees per annum two operators at the cost of 18000 rupees each per month are going to cost us 36000 rupees per month multiplied by 12 will give us 432000 rupees per annum this is the minimum manpower cost and chemicals and consumables at the rate of 5000 rupees per month will cost us another 60000 rupees any repairs breakdown repairs maintenance amc these things will cost us at least another 60000 rupees per annum so the total cost is coming to 11 lakhs 12640 rupees per annum that is almost 1 lakh per month and if the builder is maintaining for 2 years i think it is a statutory obligation for the builder to maintain the stp for 2 years it works out to 24 lakhs and assuming there are something like uh, 100 flats or 100 villas per villa per month it is going to cost at least 1000 rupees per month so it simply proves that present stps are way expensive for the builder as well as for the users to own and sell as operate so is there a solution what exactly is the solution what do they do in other countries is there any stp technology available elsewhere in the world that has no such problems that we are facing here and if such solution exists why it has not come to india till now now we all wish for an stp that is silent noise free has zero maintenance or ultra low maintenance especially zero daily maintenance no civil works no installation related problems that is reliable it has proven technology with minimum civil works and practically lowest possible operating cost we all wish for an stp like that but right now we have something to cheer up here is a stp that we all wish for it's called jokasu j o h k a s o u jokasu in japan japanese language means purification tank jokasu has evolved over a period of 45 years from late 70s or early 80s till date in japan in a country like japan there are 80 lakh plus stps working by the year 2018 this is as per the japanese government statistics jokasu is sold in 20 plus other countries including usa 
ఆస్ట్రేలియా చైనా హాంకాంగ్ వియత్నాం ఈవెన్ శ్రీలంక అండ్ రైట్ నౌ జొకాస హ్యాస్ కమ్ టు ఇండియా ఆల్సో వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఈజ్ దిస్ జొకాసు జొకాసు ఈజ్ అ వెరీ సింపుల్ బయాలజికల్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ ఎ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనరోబిక్ డైజెషన్ ఏరోబిక్ డైజెషన్ ఫాలోడ్ బై ఎ రీసర్క్యులేషన్ ఎ కంటిన్యూస్ రీసర్క్యులేషన్ ద బ్యూటీ ఆఫ్ ది సిస్టమ్ ఈజ్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ ఫర్ ఎ స్మాల్ ఎయిర్ బ్లోయర్ దే కాల్ ఇట్ ఎ లీనియర్ ఎయిర్ పంప్ ఆర్ ఎ ఎయిర్ కంప్రెసర్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో అదర్ మెకానికల్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్ ది సీవేజ్ గోస్ స్ట్రేట్ ఇన్ టు ద ట్యాంక్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ ఎండ్ ట్రీటెడ్ వాటర్ కమ్స్ అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద అదర్ ఎండ్ ది ట్రీటెడ్ వాటర్ దట్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద అదర్ ఎండ్ ఈజ్ సూటబుల్ ఫర్ ఇరిగేషన్ అండ్ అదర్ పర్పసెస్ నాన్ కాంటాక్ట్ పర్పసెస్ వితౌట్ ఎనీ ఫర్దర్ ఫిల్ట్రేషన్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు రీయూజ్ ఇట్ ఫర్ టాయిలెట్ ఫ్లషింగ్ ఎక్సెట్రా we may have to add an additional filtration equipment like a disc filter which is quite inexpensive now this jokasu is now available in india as easy stp we named it easy stp because it's easy to maintain this what is so special about it why are we so gung ho about this stp first and foremost jokasu is a factory made sewage treatment plant factory made means the name minimum number of mistakes a certain standard it is popular with 1 crore plus installations in over 20 countries it has been working for the last 45 years plus it's the only proven biological process that does not require daily maintenance like mbbr sbr mbr all these things require daily maintenance and it gives you consistently high quality water with bod less than 10 and it has very small footprint and the suspended solids will be lower than 10 ppm without any further filtration it has just one moving part that is an air blower japanese are so finicky about the quality that they use a single air blower which runs and runs and runs there is no standby air blower in any jogatsu system we have incorporated an additional standby blower in india considering our power situation our maintenance situation etc so the biggest beauty of this system is the air blower that we use here is called a linear air pump this is whisper silent unless you touch it you don't know that it is working the same thing cannot be used in a conventional mbbr or sbr process because we have deeper tanks there the tanks are much deeper these blowers have efficiency up to 2.5 meters water depth the moment it crosses 2.5 meters these blowers stop working so if we restrict the depth of our mbbr or spr this blower can be used there also now compared to other biological process like mbbr or spr it saves a minimum of 70% on power consumption because low equipment and second is this uses two technologies anaerobic digestion where 70% of organic content is taken out without using any power or aeration etc the remaining 30% is using with with the usage of air so the air compressor size is less than 30% of a conventional process and because there is no equipment there is nothing like maintenance here so it saves almost 90 plus percentage on manpower because there is a single blower the maintenance is bare minimum and it's highly reliable because there is no maintenance it's a true fit and forget system there are no pumps there is no possibility of failure and it is tested in a factory so we can be sure of the output performance this can be installed above ground or below ground depending on our site conditions if we have space constraint we can install as shown in the uh, photograph here your cars and trucks can pass over this so people don't even realize that there is an stp below their road or below the driveway this is the photograph before the concrete is laid on top of this now what we suggest with our experience is please consider all the available options before you take a decision with respect to your stp and your stp vendor and avoid all the pain and the cost related to wrong stp thank you very much for joining our webinar here today and 
we have a link in the bottom please click on the link to connect with our team anytime have a great day thank you